Hey guys and welcome to episode 5 of our Sarpsburg Youthful Legends career mode. Uh, if you do enjoy the series make sure to leave a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment also. And to start off this episode we are against Sogandal I believe and straight away get a goal from uh, Hans Johnson about 14 minutes into the game. Um, yeah, I see a lot of people that enjoy this series a lot more than the Portsmouth one, which is surprising. I think the Portsmouth one has dragged a little bit, but that won't be uh, it won't be long until that series is, is over and done with. But enough about that. We're on about this series now. Odegaard is through on goal. He wants to give it to Johnson, and he just about chips it over the goalkeeper to make it 2 0 to Salzburg. And belly sliding on concrete must hurt quite a lot, but that doesn't matter. Good finish, I just about got it over, you can see on the replay here that I was literally inches and yeah, good finish from uh, from Johnson there. And half time, 2-0 at the break. Um, I do want to say as well that in uh, before the end or after the last game you'll see, I did play another game and apparently I wasn't recording um, as we can see the goal there. Uh, which isn't really good for us, but um, yeah, we played against Mulder FK. We won four nil. I think was it Mulder? I think it's Mulder. We won four nil. Um, look at this. How close are we away uh, from clearing that? Just an unlucky goal. Really unlucky goal. But yeah, missing a highlight. Oh, you could see if he didn't slice that, that would have been. A great save, but we do finish the game too well. We blew our two nil lead, and yeah, we only get a point from this game instead of three, unfortunately. But going to our second game now, we are against a oh god, Allison's Allison's FK. For those Norwegian people that are watching, I do apologise uh, for butchering the name, but I'm just I'm just reading what what comes up on the screen. Um, First chance does come to us. We got Bergstrom. We're playing a second team this game. Look at that for skill. Good finish as well from Bergstrom. Uh, but yeah, we're using our second team this episode, uh, this game because uh, our first team is a bit tired from the game before. So yeah, I don't think I've used this team before either. I've used Bergstrom before, but only off the bench, not to start. And look at this for skill. He does a Berber spin against the player. On his left foot into the bottom right corner. What a finish from the lad. He's six foot three, and sixty-two overall. So he's not a bad player. Uh, that's just based on overall, and in game he's a good player as well. But uh, went up at half time, and it seems to, uh, that every game we've played except for one, we've gone up. Well, we've, we've scored the first goal, except for the the one where we lost against. I think was it Tromsø we lost. I think we lost against Tromsø one nil. As I only defeated the season. But we go 2-0 up there. Nice strong now getting the goal. And that was a good play from us there. Plays it out wide. Passes it across goal into nice strong. Pretty much an open net. And now we're 2-0 up against Ale oh for God's sake, Allison's. I don't know, something like that. Uh good save there from the keeper. Unfortunately, it's parried out to the the opposing opposite player I guess I would, I'd want to say that team name again it's too too difficult but it is finished it has finished 2-1 um, still three points for us considering we used our second team so it's not too bad um, third game now is against Sogendal again we're going in the rotation now and we got uh, Odegaard there with a the finish. I can't remember the, the name of the guy who passed it to him. Um, it might be Martinson. Is it, no, not Martinson. Magnuson. I'm not too sure. But unselfish from the player. Giving it to Odegaard who toe pokes it in the back of the net. Against a team we just lost three points against. And half time we are 1 0 up. And it was Odegaard with the goal. Hopefully we can actually get three points this time round. We'll have to see. Second half now, 90th minute. Nothing literally happening for the 45 minutes, but we do get the three points in the 1-0 victory against Sogendal. 
second time around we actually get the three points so we are in January now and we're getting loads of transfer offers and we get one from Stay Stay Back Stabek Football don't ask for Eric Odegaard the guys we're going to decline the same club again is going for Asbjorn Dahl which we're going to reject uh, Hans Johnson an offer from Sport Lockerin I think that is in the Belgian league and obviously I'm not going to sell him he's our top goal scorer Monthly scouting update from Norway, not really signing anyone too exciting uh, and also get a transfer offer as well for our goalkeeper from Stabike Football, again they want to buy a whole team this club. Um, look at this guy here, Robin Berglund, a Swedish, I think he's a centre back, uh, unbelievable stats there from the player, we signed another one as well uh, and the rest we're just going to reject. But I think in the end we do go to um, send him a contract offer. But we got a, another a chance offer for Matthias Franzen here, which we're going to reject. We're going to reject everyone. Just a spoiler alert: we're going to reject everything because we pretty much everyone that gets an offer pretty much we use every game. So um, don't really want to sell him. Marius to handsome offer from PSG. That's a big big sign there that this guy is going to be something else. I think he's got potential to be special. This guy. I'm not too sure, I'll have to check. Um, monthly scouting update from Denmark. Not really the best country to get players from out of the countries we've been scouting so far. But we have got a few decent players from Denmark. Chance offer now for Terji Gunderson, our left winger from Viking FK. Not the first time we've seen him in this episode. Uh, but we're going to reject as always. Deadline day, nothing much happening. Um, and you can see here that we got manager of the month, uh, which is great. That means we're doing really good at the club. There's Robin Berglund, the player we just saw in the monthly scouting update. He's the centre back, 60 overall. We're going to send him a contract offer. So a scout report from Norway. Not really anyone that tickles our fancy. I don't really want to sign goalkeepers. We get a lot of goalkeepers. We've got too many. So no more goalkeepers for us. The positions I would like is uh, full backs really. But anyway, that is the end of the episode. I apologise for not uh, showing the Molder game, but we did get a 4-0 win. Uh, please like and subscribe if you did enjoy this episode. And uh, I will see you in the next video.